All right, I believe I got us up and running now. So, again, who is some alliance advantage? Uh, you know, guys, we uh, we're real excited about you know what we have to offer. Uh, you know, the market as a whole. Uh, you know, when you look at the insurance industry, there's so many different markets. Uh, you know, there's so many different products, and the fact that uh, you know we've really have identified. Uh, you know, these specific markets, you know, being final expense, mortgage protection, and the advanced markets with IUL and indexed annuities, uh, you know, we feel we've really targeted the markets where agents can be the most successful and have the most success, uh, you know, quicker uh, than they normally would and just kind of being scattered and trying to learn the market as a whole. And, you know, identifying these markets, we've, we've also identified the products um, you know, that are specific to these markets and, uh, you know, products that pay daily, you know, and, and you know, you look here, uh, you, basically, uh, you know, if you kind of take a bird's eye view of the system, uh, you know, it has three components, you know, and that is the system, you know, and the leads, and then, of course, your efforts. And, uh, you, you know, knowing how this all works together, knowing, uh, you know, how to utilize, uh, you know, the leads in each market, what is the approach, uh, you know, of course, we, uh, you know, have training and, and information on that, on, on each spe specifically uh, for each market, uh, you know, but again, uh, you know, the insurance industry is one of the top earning industries, uh, you know, in the country, and, uh, you know, to be able, um, you know, to come in and really find a market that you can focus on, um, you know, because eventually you're going to become a well-rounded agent. I'm going to talk more about that here shortly, um, you know, but before I do, I'm going to go ahead and um, bring on my partner here to talk uh, a little bit more, uh, you know, about identifying your agent, who you're working with, who you're bringing on, and kind of getting started with your agent. So uh, with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring on uh, Mr. Ray McDonald. Ray, you on? Yes, sir. Hey, thanks, Jason, and welcome, everybody, to the uh, uh, to the uh Presentation here we're doing today. You know, we probably kind of what we're doing here. We're streamlining, streamlining the process of getting our new agent hired on board, and and what we're doing. So the important things is to know that you know all three of the markets that we carry. Like Jason just went over the, uh, you know, the final expense market, the, uh, you know, the mortgage protection market, and also the uh, advanced market with the IULs and annuities and so forth. Um, it's important to understand, you know, this completely, and also to know that this is uh, uh, already available in the back office. This is downloadable. Um, so when you are meeting with your new agent you're bringing on board or you're, 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 you want to hire on, uh, this is the new uh, streamlined uh, process that, uh, you know, normally before it took, uh, you know, a few days. Now you can do it literally in one hour. And again, this is downloadable in the back office where you can go ahead and uh, print this out and, and, and take with you to when you meet your new agent. And some of the information that you're going to see here today is you want to lead with your, your new agent that you're leaving with. You know, so they're going to get some of the paperwork that you're seeing here, and some of it is for yourself but that you need to make sure that we have here at the home office but also keep for your records as well since you're hiring and bringing on a new agent. Um, so very quickly, you know, we, again, when you hire a new agent, you want to, again, print this out, you know, all of it is downloadable in the back office, and then you want to uh, uh, sit down and go over and, and ask basic questions, you know, like, to, you know, again, this is basic information sheet, ask their name, did a contract, if they're licensed, yes or no, you want their phone number or emails, which is important They make sure that we get here at the home office, we get that, because uh, we want to make sure that uh, there are uh, that we have their phone numbers and emails, so we can notify them, contact them of uh, upcoming webinars, events, conference calls, national calls, uh, special calls, and whatnot. So it's important that you make sure that us here at the home office we have that information. You want to find out if they ever worked leads, yes or no. Again, this is important um, because we want to make sure that you know that we have you know two two system prom here. So we want to make sure that you know they are working leads or if they have experience working leads or not, um, ask them, hey, how do you get from your clients? You know, working leads, referrals, both, you know, what is it? Uh, what carriers are you currently contracted with now? Again, this is important because even though here at Small Alliance Advantage, we have, we have access to pretty much every carrier out there, we only get our agents contracted with a handful of carriers, so we don't want to overwhelm them with, uh, Twins carriers, so we want to so find out who are they contracted with, and and if they are, are currently contracted with a, a carrier that we 
are one of our primary carriers. Uh, what contract levels do they qualify for? So they're working for a different IMO. Uh, we want to know what you know what contract levels they qualify for. Uh, what products you write the most, you know, and, and and why? And what carriers do you like, and why? And then again, you know, we have you know our go-to carriers are Anna, uh, Americo. Transamerica, UHL, National Life Group, Great Western, Royal Neighbors, whatnot. So we want to know, you know, are they, are they contracted with these guys or not? Also, it's important for us to know is uh, what's your production last month, and uh, what's your largest uh, monthly production amount, and what was your biggest year? You know, what you were, or what did you do last year? So again, this is all very important information for us to uh, um, gather from our new agent and, um, and so forth. So, but on to the next slide here. Uh, this is what we call the interview uh, phase. So, again, you want to just ask the questions. These are basic yes or no answers. Uh, you know, so you want to say, hey, you know, do you feel the big circle, little circle is true? By this time, most people that we're interviewing or we're, uh, you know, are hiring on board to come work for us or, or for you and your agency, uh, you know, they should have seen the big circle, little circle presentation. So you want to ask, hey, is the big circle, little circle true? Yes or no? Which applies to you? I'm in a big circle, I'm in a little circle, or I don't know what circle I'm in. Number three, um, um, am I ready to start taking steps necessary to move into the little circle? Yes, no. What applies to you? And then again, they, they can check all that applies. You know, I need to protect my most valuable assets. I need to begin my savings. I'm ready to be an agent. I want to earn more income, and so forth. And then the fifth one is, you know, um, from what you learned in the meeting, you know, or presentation that they saw regarding some alliance advantage, do you feel that some alliance advantage is a way for you to achieve your goals financially? Yes or no? And this is, you know, again. Uh, for me, this is important to, when I ask these next two questions here is what would you like to make annually with some alliance advantage? You know, most people say, you know, I want to make $100,000, which, you know, that's a typical answer and that's a, a great goal by, you know, for sure. Uh, so number seven is, you know, how many hours a week are you willing to commit for that? And why I feel that's important is because if someone puts their goals to make $100,000 a year, and then they say, well, I want to to commit, you know, 10 hours a week. Uh, you know, there's definitely a problem with that goal, or maybe uh, there's a problem with the agent's, the agent's visions or, or whatnot. So, you know, we got to, you know, make sure that we're in reality here. So, if you want to make $100,000 a year, how many hours a week are you willing to commit to earn $100,000 a year? And, and then. Number eight, you know, uh, you know, from scale from one to ten, ten being the highest, one being the lowest. How teachable and coachable are you? Uh, how well do you work with a team from scale from one to ten? How well do you follow the system from scale from one to ten? Again, these are all important things because they're going to let us know, you know, uh, more about our, our new agent that we're bringing on board. You know, if they are a team player, if, you know, they're coachable. You know, they follow, they, wanna, they are willing to follow the system and so forth. And so then, uh, number 11 here is, uh, you know, how important is achieving your goals financially with some alliance advantage? Again, scale from 1 to 10. Then, what I do here is I, uh, what I do here is I, uh, uh, on number 12 here, I ask for a, a character references, okay? I ask for the reference of character. So I say, hey, uh, new agent, um, you know, so this is going good, and I want to go ahead and, uh, um, you know, uh, you know, get some people that you will vouch for your character. Who can you tell me that will vouch for your character as a person, that you're a good person? Because I want to make sure that, you know, we're working with the right people. So, you know, the beauty of this business and that we're able to pick and choose who we want to work with. And it's important that we work with, you know, like-minded individuals. And you'll find that they'll make your life much, much easier if you're working with people who are like-minded, uh, you know, you know, have the same kind of goals and vision as you are. And so you, by one way of doing that is getting this list of character references. Um, so you want to get their names, whatever. And then what I do is I call them. And so they put down, hey, they put down Joe is my reference. And I call Joe and I say, hey, Joe, um, you know, I'm, I have a new agent here, um, you know, Sam, for example. And Sam's coming on board and, uh, you know, our company, we're looking at hiring him on board, our company here. Uh, but Sam put you down as a character reference. Um, what can you tell me about Sam? Is Sam a good guy? Is he a hard worker? What do you, what do you uh, uh, 
uh, what do you uh, what, what do you know? And they and he'll say, oh yeah, Sam's a good guy. We love Sam. We know Sam for many many years. We know his family. We know his wife and all that great stuff. I said, well great, thank you so much for you know giving uh, Sam a, a good recommendation. We're looking forward to working with him. Oh by the way, just kind of Joe, let me ask you one last question before I let you go. Um, does Sam have enough credibility with you um, that if he was doing something new and he wanted to show you something that he was doing, would you give him the time of day to do that? Does he have the kind of credibility with you? And the older say yes or no. And, that, and then I just put a little check mark there. Fantastic. And I just do that, you know, all six times. Okay? And then I'll, I'll explain more why I did that part. But just remember on the character references when I come back to that. And then, uh, I, then I ask, you know, uh, Sam, for example, hey, Sam, what is your goal for yourself in this business? I want to know what Sam's goals is for, for himself and his business. I can't, but I want to know who I'm working with. I want to know who I'm dealing with. I want to know if this guy is like-minded. I want to know what his goals is for himself. I want to know what his goals is for his business. Again, because I have the right to pick and choose who I want to work with. And I, and I, and I want to work smarter, and not harder. And I want, to, I want to work and spend my time with the right people. Second thing is, what is your goal for creating an, an agency? Okay, so if, you know we don't build an agency. I want to know what what your goal is. What your, what what is your vision for creating an agency? Then I want to know what is your why. Okay, but for me the why is very important. And a lot of times, guys, you know what I do is I I have to give this to them to actually fill out. Because I want them to write it out. I want them uh, to uh, write this stuff down so they can feel it. Because I think there's a certain kind of power when you're reading something and you're writing it down. Um, it kind of gives power, you know. So let them, you know, write it down, and then you read it, or have them read it back to you. That's what I, a lot of times what I do is I have them read it back to me. So I want to know what their why is. What what interests you about this business, and why do you want to make it your career? You know, uh, again, I want to know that. To me, that's important. What is your why? And uh, oh, I'm sorry. Why is your why so important to you? Again, this is all very important information uh, for me. To, to know about my new agent that I'm bringing on board, okay? And also, too, guys, this is duplicatable. This is something you want your agent to let them know, that, hey, look, as I'm doing this with you, pay attention to what I'm doing because you are going to be doing this with the agents that you're bringing on board, too. So every agent that come, come on board, they're going to be doing this. So you will be doing this with your agent. They will be doing it with their new agent and, and, and so forth on down the line. All right, so next. Here is we have the you know the top 20 names list. So uh, you know now keep in mind a lot of people when they see this they're like oh my god I've seen this before you know I, I already been through my friends my family and I already did all this I said look no okay we're pushing a reset here some life advantage we're a different kind of company we do things differently uh, we're not a, a turn and burn operation we we, we don't we, we do not uh, believe in the in the NFL club where you yeah, have no friends left this is differently. Okay, so what I do is ask my, my new hire that I'm bringing on board. I say, hey, look, Sam, I need to know, I, I, wanna, I, wanna, I need to give me a name of 20 people that you know. Okay, and don't prejudge. Don't think, oh, my gosh, you know, I know what's going to happen here. They're, they're going to try to come after my list, my friends and family. Don't get that, get that out of your head. Okay, so what we're doing here is, I want you to give me a list of Sam. Give me a list of names. Everybody, you know, don't prejudge. This one, this one's too rich. This one's too poor. This one's too old. This one's too whatever. Just give me a list of names, okay? Once Sam is giving that list of names, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Sam, Sam, okay. Now, if you were on the side of the road and you were driving down the road and your car broke down on the side of the road, who would be the first person on this list that you will call? And Sam will say, I will call Bobby. Why would he call Bobby? Well, Bobby's my best friend. He's always there for me. Okay, great. Put a little check mark by Bobby. Hey, um, we call Bobby. He's not there. You know, the car's still broken down on the side of the road. It's, it's getting darker. It looks like rain might be coming. Who would be the second person you'll call? I will call Sally. Why Sally? Well, Sally's my sister. I love her. She's always there for me. Great. Put a little check mark by Sally. Guess what, Sam? We call Sally. She's not answering either. Now it's getting dark. The rain is coming down. Now it's starting to rain. Who'll be the third person we'll call? I'll call Fred. 
why would he call Fred? He's the yada yada yada. Hey, great. Fred's not there. Now the now it's not only raining, it's starting to hail. Who would this person? So I do that, you know, I think you see what what I'm getting at, but I do that um, you know, about five times. So I get the, I get my top five list. Okay. Now when I do with my top five, then I tell them that I told Sam, my new agent, not hiring him, I said, Sam, look, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to contact each of these people. Okay, we're gonna contact them. This is what we're gonna say. Okay? So your first person you put was Bobby. We're gonna call Bobby up. Hey Bobby. Uh is this is Sam. Hey hey Sam, how are you doing? Good. Because remember, this Bobby is the first person that's on Sam's list. Okay, so Sam of all the people that was Sam was gonna call when he was stuck on the side of the road was Bobby. So obviously there's a connection there, there's some respect there, there's some love there. So Bobby calling first and hey Bobby, this is Sam. Uh, hey, uh, I don't know if you know or not, but I started working for this new company. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I'm a, uh, uh, you know, I got, I, you know, an insurance company, and I got to do some several practice sessions. Um, I just want to call and see if you will help me be my guinea pig, and I can practice on you. This would go either one or two ways. Either go yes, no problem, come on over, or the second way is. Um, well, do I gotta buy anything? I don't want to buy anything. And so the way you answer that is no. You don't have to buy anything. But we're not gonna hog hog tie him and force anybody to buy something that they don't want to buy. Okay. But they either will say yes, come on over, let's do it, or they'd be, um, do I gotta buy anything? And the response is no. You don't have to buy anything. I just need somebody to practice on. You're my buddy. You're my friend. Will you help me? And allow me to practice on you. Okay. Now, if they say yes, great. How about come over to the house at tomorrow at seven o'clock, and then you go to the house at seven o'clock tomorrow. This gives you the opportunity to do a couple of things here. Okay. The idea is this: is for you to go out there and start writing a business right away. Okay. And so you're so when you meet with. Uh, your your friend or your person you're talking to here, in this case, Bobby, right? When Sam, this is Bobby. Sam, uh, again, was going to say, hey, thank you so much for allowing me to practice on you. i got to do this private presentation. And, and then typically, in this case scenario, what we do is we kind of do the big circle, little circle presentation. So it's important that you have your flip chart book with you as you do this. And then, so that way you can do the presentation. Now, when most people see the big circle, little circle presentation, as most of you guys know, uh, it causes them, uh, the person to see it for the first time, they like it, they want, they respond to it in a positive way. So this can turn into a, a potential sale for you. And you always ask the important questions, and that's why it's important that we, um, you know, always ask and do the pr presentation the exact same way every time. Because when we say, hey, do you believe what I showed you here to be true? And they say yes. You know, and then we ask that question. If you want to get from here to here, would you want to see that? Yes. If you want to see four, if I can show you, you know, how these four things here uh, can help you get from things to close, would you want to see that? Yes. And then we ask that question, how many people do you know need to see this? They always say everybody needs to see this. Well, they can they constitute as everybody. Okay, so they'll either want it for themselves, or you ask for the referral to, for you, you know, for them to give you referrals for people to see. Again, guys, this is, look, this is the business, and we are in a business. There's either two ways to get business, either through networking, or through through networking events, networking through our our our, our circle our circle of influence, and getting referrals from all these people. And the other option is is working the leads and having lead options and also getting referrals too. We'll go back one second here. Um, and so, uh, and then uh, just kind of quickly here. So just to know, the idea is now, if somebody wants a field training, you let this, you, again, you set the appointment with Bobby and then you can let them know that they're gonna be there, not just with you, but also with a field trainer. So you can either do this on your own or you could do this with a field trainer, uh, but this is the way to get out there right away. So you don't have to, you don't have to wait for leads or pay for leads. It's a way for you to get out there right away. And now we go with a field trainer. 
then it's usually a, it's a 50 50 split. Now, quickly, remember on, on, the, on, on the last slide I talked about, remember the, the, uh, the, 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 uh, ref the list that we did on um, the recommendations. You know, the, when we call the people to get the, you know, the six people that we called to uh, get the, you know, uh, recommendations from, from their friends. You'd be surprised at how many people are on that are on, on those six people that are not on this list, and those are the people that they put down as their character references. And a lot of times they're not even on this list. But when we contact those character references, right, and, and those person, and we ask that question, hey, does you know does Sam have enough credibility with you that you'll do something new that? Um, you will give him 10 and 15 minutes of your time, and he said yes. So um, those are also referrals for us to go, to go see and talk to. So there's no shortage of people for us to go see and talk to. It's how we do it and how we present ourselves, and we do it in a way that we keep our integrity intact. We do it in a way that we're not disinvited to the next family reunion. There's a, a way to, to do things honestly with uh, and ethically and with integrity, and you do it the right way. Okay, now on to the next one here. This is the this is the bread and butter, guys, of our of our um, of our system that we have here, and this is critically critically important. So many people out there want success. So many people out there want, hey, I want to make a hundred thousand dollars. I want to do this. I want to do that. And they have all these big goals. They have all these big aspirations, but they have no plan on how to do it. Okay, so if you truly, truly want success in this business, and you truly, truly want to grow, right? Because you know success is uh, is vital. Okay, success is vital, and a lot of people they want success, but they don't know how to to go out and achieve success. They don't have they don't know how to obtain success. Well, here this is the blueprint for success for your business. You gotta look at this as your weekly business plan. There's so many people out there want to go out there and build an agency, and they want to go out there and make sales, but they don't have a plan. You know, they have good intentions, but they don't have a plan. I promise you, if you do this every week, week in, week out, and you treat this like a Bible, and you're religiously doing this week in and week out, I promise you, you'll have success beyond anything that you ever had before. So, first column is weekly goal. Okay, so you want to have what's your goal for the week? So how many new contacts you want to add that week? How many new calls are made that week? What's your goal? Okay, put and the goal is for you to stretch yourself a little bit, right? How, how many? What's your what's your uh, connection calls made? How many follow-up calls are you going to make? You know, this week. How many people are you going to invite to the next event? Um, how many preset appointments do you have? Um, how many appointments kept? How many new appointments are set that week? How many new recruits? How many new apps? How many apps are you going to write this week? What's your total AP going to be for the week? This is important. You have to have a goal. You have to have a target for the week, right? And then also, too, you know, here at Summit Lines Advantage, we're very big on, on reading. You know, we feel that if you're going to be a leader in this business, if you're going to be a leader in your, in your industry, if you're going to be a leader in your agency, you got to be a reader. And we have incredible books, recommendations for you. So if you don't know what to read, uh, let us know. We'll give you some books um, for you to read and, or ideas for you to read. So you went down and put down what your goals for the week. So let's say that, uh, you know, uh, the second column there, you have a number of new calls made. So your goal is, like, I, want, I want to make 20 calls this week. Okay, so you're, that's your goal. So on Monday, you're going to put down five calls. Tuesday, you put down, you know, three calls. Tuesday, Wednesday, you put down two. When it, where, at the, and you go all the way down to the end. At the end, with a weekly total, you know, it, it's a way for you. You want your, your weekly total to either match or, or surpass what you wrote down for your goal. Now, don't short-circuit this thing. Don't cheat this thing. So you're only short-circuiting yourself. You're only cheating yourself. This is designed to help you to grow become prosperous, but you know, how many people are you going to invite to the event? You know, if you put down two people that you invited to see the presentation, and then you have zero at the end of the week, and that there shows the problem that you're not, you know, maybe not talking to enough people, or say that you have um, your goals that you have, you know, 15 set appointments, but your AP, uh, you know, total shows that you had a uh, only maybe 
uh, $2,000 AP. It says, oh, and so that tells me there's a problem. Okay, so yeah, 15 appointments that were sent, but then yeah, I've only got $2,000 AP. Okay, so tell me what you're, you know, me as a as an upline uh, manager work as my agent. That tells me there's a problem. I say, hey, hey, my new agent, let's sit down. Let's tell me what you're doing. Tell me what you're saying. This is allowing me to dissect you and to be able to help you. Now, what happens is once they complete this on week one, okay, they make a copy of this and they're going to send it into their upline manager, right? And they're going to keep this, this for a second part. So, so the second column is week two. So they're going to do the same thing on week two. Now I can measure week two is week one, okay? And then again, they're going to they're going to email it and scan it to their upline manager to go over it. And it's important for the upline manager to hold this person accountable to go over this with them because this is your as an upline manager. This is your business. This is your bread and butter too. This is the bread and butter for your new agent, and this is your bread and butter for you yourself because you're having agents are constantly doing this, then then you're having success as well. So you gotta make sure that you follow through with this. So this is week one, week two. Then all of a sudden week two, I mean week three, week four, week five, week six. So they're constantly doing this. Guys, if you're doing this every week, laying it brick by brick, brick by brick every week, I promise you, you'll have success. I promise you, you'll be in the rhythm. I promise you, you're gonna have a pipeline filled with, uh, with the information here, with people to talk to and see on, on, on a regular basis. So again, this is the bread and butter, um, and you want to make sure that uh, you um, are, uh, are are you know doing this every single week like clockwork. Okay, so moving right along here. Let me go here to the next slide here. So yeah, I want to there. bring on you know I want to bring on uh, 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 Jason back on guys. So again, there's there's two sides to the business here, right? We'll talk about how to network. Uh, you know, get referrals from our sphere of influence, or talking to people, get referrals from them, get referrals from you want to get re, you know you want to talk to as many people as you can, get referrals from as many people as you can, and know that we are um, you know this is your business, so you guys always be out there networking, talking to people, let people know who you are, let people know what you're doing. Don't be a secret agent, go out there and and and, and, and get in front of people. This is the one way. Now Jason's going to talk about the other way, how to get in front of people as well. So, uh, Jason, it is uh, all yours, my friend. Thank you, sir. Fantastic. Well, guys, um, you know, we talk about the different markets and what's great about the markets that we have. Uh, you know, what Ray just went over, uh, you know, is, is, is a phenomenal way to take care of your loved ones, to take care of your family and friends, to take care of the people you know uh, that could potentially uh, be in a situation if they're not covered. Uh, and, uh, you, you know, we, we all know, we all agree, uh, you know, that no one is exempt, uh, you know, from any of the things that, that we provide protection for, cancer, heart attack, stroke, death. You know, we all know 10 out of 10 people are going to pass away, right? So, um, you know, phenomenal ways, uh, you know, to get in front of those people and take care of the people you know. But we also, of course, uh, generate leads. And we generate leads in each market uh, that we focus on. Um, now, with uh, final expense, we have the benefit of having a, a few different options here. Uh, with final expense, we can generate leads through telemarketing. Uh, you know, leads are uh, generated, uh, uh, you know, a lot quicker uh, than they are through direct mail with telemarketing. Uh, you know, the leads are exclusive. Any leads that we generate for our partnered agents are exclusive. Uh, you know, and it's an inexpensive marketing option. You know, you can get uh, telemarketed lead options, uh, you know, anywhere from $9 to $16. Right now, we have a live telemarketed lead special. Uh, it's just around $13 a lead. And, uh, you know, we have various specials that go on, uh, you know, every once in a while. Uh, but on an ongoing basis, you know, of course, we have, uh, you know, you know the, uh, the lead program, again, $9 to $16 for telemarketed leads. Uh, you know, now with direct mail, uh, we, you see they have the little best choice ribbon there, and that's because we have a higher close rate with direct mail. Uh, it's more consistent, uh, and, uh, you know, one of the things uh, to direct mail, you know, we really help out with the cost on direct mail because, again, uh, you know, ultimately we're not a lead generation company at all. Uh, you know, we're in the insurance business, and whenever agents write business that goes issue paid, uh, you know, that's a win-win for everyone. You know, the client gets covered, the agent gets paid, and, you know, us as a company for helping provide the client, for helping provide the guidance, you know, we get paid from the insurance carrier as well. And so, uh, you know, these are two great ways to get in front of clients. 
uh, it, you know, there's different ways to identify areas. Uh, you know, if you understand kind of the demographics to the lead that you're wanting to generate, you know, for telemarketing, uh, you know, one of the biggest things is that those are generated by county. Uh, you know, whereas direct mail, uh, those are generated by zip code. So you can actually keep yourself in a more condensed area with your direct mail leads as opposed to, you know, generating those by county for telemarketing. Now, on, um, you know, at the same time with the telemarketing and direct mail, uh, we have a different approach when it comes to setting the appointment. Like telemarketing, you're going to call and set the appointment. Uh, you know, again, they're more scattered out by county. So, you know, it's ideal to call and set those up on a time that you can see them, confirming information. They've already been reached out to by phone, uh, you know, so it's okay for you to contact them by phone. Now, direct mail, you need to look at this as a handwritten invitation to go take care of the client. You know, these people have taken the time, they've identified this letter they've received, they've thrown away their junk mail, and they've filled this out and mailed it back. So, you know, these people have a serious interest in getting their coverage taken care of. And again, those can be generated by zip code as opposed to county, uh, you know, if, um, when we're talking about final expense market, we're talking about, uh, you know, seniors on fixed income, you know, primarily from 50 to 80. We can cover up to 85, uh, you know, but we normally market between the ages of 50 and 80 or 60 and 80 for direct mail. So, uh, you know, again, two great ways to get in front of your clients, uh, you know, through, uh, through leads. And now, with that, I mentioned earlier that we generate leads in all markets. Well, here we have our mortgage protection lead, which is generated by direct mail. Now, again, this is a letter that someone receives that either uh, purchased a new home, maybe refinanced a home, maybe took a, a home equity loan, uh, or maybe a reverse mortgage. Either way, some trigger on their mortgage, uh, you know, they've received this letter. And, uh, and, you know, what's great about this is it's clear about the benefits that they're eligible for. Uh, you know, it lets them know it's a mortgage protection insurance plan. It talks about death, disability, what it's going to do. And, uh, again, this is something where the client has received this. They've taken the time to fill it out and mail it back. Their date of birth, uh, you know, male or female, if they're a smoke, smoker or not, multiple ways to be contacted, and then they sign it and date it. Uh, you know, so, again, I receive this. I know that this person has a serious interest in getting their coverage taken care of. And I know I can take care of it with the multiple options that we have to get this person covered. And, uh, you know, if, if they have medical challenges, we can meet them. Uh, you know, if they just want the best price, we can do that. So, you know, again, uh, we have great options, and this is a phenomenal, uh, you know, lead. And, and what's great about this is, of course, we have the, uh, we generate these exclusive for our agents on the, uh, on our direct mail campaigns that we do with our partnered agents. But at the same time, we have access to what we call age mortgage protection leads. It's a, it's a partnership we have with an outside mail house that allows us access to their uncovered uh, final, or mortgage protection leads. So these are people that have not yet been covered. And, uh, you know, we have access to those at a really low cost, uh, $4 a piece. So very inexpensive uh, way to get in front of your clients, go through your learning curve uh, if it's a new market to you, or just supplement your marketing. You know, just another way to have more clients to see. And, uh, you know, me, I'm kind of uh, um, biased towards the mortgage protection market. It's, it's a, uh, you know, where I've written the majority of my applications. I feel it's a great market. It's a door-opening market. It's kind of right there in the middle with the working class. I, you know, a lot of the clients still have parents they're taking care of. Um, you know, they also have kids they're looking at putting through school or going through school. And, uh, you know, so there's products, uh, you know, all the way around, uh, you know, whether it be protecting their retirement, of course, their mortgage, what they've identified. Uh, but again, I really like the market. It's a great door opening market. And then we also have direct mail leads for IUL market. And, um, you know, what's great about this, uh, you, you know, we have the uh, annuity mailers. We also have the IUL mailers, uh, you know, with a few different bullet points, pretty much the same bullet points, you know, referring to protection from stock market loss, uh, you know, earn higher interest than on CDs with no risk to principal. Uh, you, you know, people, uh, when they see this, you know, elimination of, of probate, uh, probate fees and, and federal estate taxes, uh, you know, it's amazing how much can be eaten up you know, through uh, probate and estate taxes and things like that. And, uh, you know, when, and people don't realize the power of insurance and the wealth transfer power that insurance has with all the tax benefits. Uh, and and uh, it's just amazing, uh, you know, how much money uh, you can truly pass on to your family if you do it through insurance. And, uh, you know, so people receive this and, and they check off the boxes. Sometimes they check off all of them. And, again, they mail it back. And, you know, we have products that can support 
all of these bullet points and all of these benefits. And you know, we have uh, some that uh, talk about the living benefits or the IUL mailer, and and uh, you know, so again, we have great options to get our agents in front of the markets that we focus on. And you know, ultimately, you know, with that. Uh, you know, agents can go out and produce. You can go out and make a lot of money on your own pen, writing your own business. Um, you, you know, but as you do that, you're going to make money. You're going to put money in the bank. You're going to get what I call the cash flow glow. People want to know what you're doing when you're making money. You're going to attract people just as a byproduct of having success in the business. And you know, so with that. Uh, you know, you're going to end up be, uh, building an agency. You know, and, and um, you know, and if you, that's your ultimate goal from the start, uh, e you know, even better. You know, you can get started sooner than later. Uh, but you know, we always talk about leading from the front. You know, you have to know your market. You have to know how to guide your agents. You have to know how to lead them through the minefield. You know, so they can be profitable uh, immediately. And uh, what's great about partnering with Summit Alliance is the fact that we have the established system to plug into. We have the training tools, the websites. You know, we uh, uh, you have the ability to grow an agency, and you know, and understand the power, the earning power of the spread. And, and you know, you're the leader of your agency. You guide and direct. You build. You grow. You brand. Uh, you know, your agency with the system and the support. You know, you can brand it. Uh, you know how how you know uh, in whichever direction you like. Uh, you know we have a uh, you know a proven recruiting system that you can take part in. Uh, and, and you know basically if you keep it simple, uh, you know you don't want to just try to recruit the masses, but you want to recruit quality. You know not necessarily quantity. And uh, you know again I said it. You can get rich on your own pen, but an agency will allow you you know to build wealth. And uh, you know just a a little example here of the income that you can make, uh, uh, you know, and this is just an example. If you were building an agency and you had a few agents working for you, only 20 agents, and, uh, you, know, you know, of course, to get to 20 agents, you're going to go through a few people, uh, you know, but to get 20, uh, you know, quality agents, uh, uh, you know, and, and you promoted yourself up to an 85% contract, you can earn over $500,000 total income for the year. Now, if you kind of break that down, Let's take a look at that. Let's say out of those 20 agents, 10 of them are at a 60% contract level. Now, again, you're, you've promoted yourself to 85%. You've put money in the bank. You've done production. You've earned your promotion. You're at 85%. And, you, know, you may have promoted yourself beyond that, uh, but let's just say you're at 85%. So you have 10 agents at 60%. You have a 25% override on their production. Now, let's say that those 10 agents – they're producing. They're producing about three thousand dollars a week. Now, that's about two to three applications a week in most cases, and uh, you know that's not very hard. That's not extreme. That's that's um, you know not saying that they're going to do ten applications every single week. No, that's saying that they're going to do two to three applications uh, you know, on a weekly basis. Only forty weeks out of the year. That's not even every single week out of the year. Let's just say only forty weeks out of the year. They do that. You're going to earn three hundred thousand dollars of override income just off of those ten agents. Um, if you have five agents at sixty-five percent, now let's say they're doing a couple of applications, but they have another agent that's at sixty that's doing an application or two. So those agents, those five agents, are doing four thousand dollars a week in production. Again, two to three applications themselves, and maybe they have an agent doing an application or two themselves. Your total override income there is $160,000 off of those five agents. Now, if you have three agents doing 70, uh, at 75% level, and they're doing $7,000 a week in production. Now, mind you, this is not all personal. If you have someone at 75%, more than likely they have an agent or two or three or four underneath them that are producing as well. And so, you know, let's just say out of those three agents, the total production for between themselves and their agent or two is $7,000 each a week. That earns you another eighty-four thousand dollars in override income, and if you have two agents at eighty percent, you know again they've promoted themselves. They're doing, uh, you know, about nine thousand dollars a week each between their agents and the, their personal production. You earn another thirty-six thousand dollars of override income, and if you're producing, still, uh, let's just say one or two apps a week for only two thousand dollars a week, you're going to earn sixty-eight thousand on your own pen. That's a total. Of 648,000. Now, of course, you're going to have some declines. You're going to have some cancellations. You're going to have some business, uh, you know, that's not approved by the carrier or whatever the case may be, or they cancel. Um, 
So let's say about 20% of that uh, is cancel or decline. You're still at a, over $500,000 of income for the year. And again, you can take it a step further. You know, your agency is going to grow exponentially. You're, uh, you know, again, as you're growing, as your agents are growing, uh, you know, their agencies are going to grow. But let's just say that you had more agents producing than just the 20. Let's say you had 35. And again, if you break this down, you can basically so, yeah, you know how Ray said you, you sit down with your goals, you put it in front of you, you could put this in front of you, how many agents you need to get to your income goal, and, and you can work towards that. You can work with, with your partnered agents and help promote them, and, and again, you can earn this kind of income you know, through the efforts of others and uh, you know, through your agency, through building your agency. Uh, you know, again, $1.2 million of income at a 20% cancellation or decline off of 35 producing agents puts you over a million dollars of income for the year. And this is not, uh, you, you know, just an outrageous example. Again, you know, in this example, doing, you know, three to four applications a week, uh, you know, for your agents, only 35 agents. Uh, you know, it's 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 very very uh, uh, possible and easily obtained with again just consistent focus and just by putting a plan to it, just breaking it down. And uh, uh, you know, we always talk about the different markets that we've identified, but it's important to know that uh, you know don't try to come in and try to learn all of the markets at once before you get started. Don't try to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. You know, I highly recommend finding the market that you're more passionate about that that you have a higher interest in uh, you know maybe the service you, uh, you're providing uh, you know really piques your interest you know maybe you really like the final expense market you know maybe it's mortgage protection uh, you know maybe it's the IUL market and uh, uh, you know if you think about it you know who makes more money a general practitioner or a specialist and um, you know, of course, the brain surgeon or, or the heart surgeon is going to make more than just the general practitioner. And and again, you know, if you try to learn it all before you get started, you'll never start. You know, I'm still learning things to this day. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, products are changing. Uh, you know, you may uh, take uh, uh, three or six months to learn everything, and by then the product changed or, or something may have changed. So uh, you know, again, you got to jump in the water to learn how to swim. You know, avoid paralysis by analysis, and uh, uh, you know. Find the market that you relate to the most. You know, I want to talk about some of those briefly, uh, and you know, maybe you can identify which market, uh, you know, that you gravitate towards. Uh, you know, if um, you're thinking of final expense, maybe you've been in a situation, uh, you know, where you've had to help donate or help raise money to bury someone, or maybe fund a GoFundMe page or something uh, like that. You know, and maybe this is important to you. Maybe you understand that. Gosh. Uh, you know, uh, my family was in a situation, it was really tough for us to come up with the funds and, uh, you know, things didn't go according to plan. You know, we barely come up with, uh, you know, enough. Uh, and, uh, you know, people are opting to become cremated because they know the cost of final expenses are so expensive. And, and you know, it may be important to you to make sure that your clients don't have to leave their family left with final expense debt, you know. And, and what's great about this market it's easy to learn, very easy to learn. You know, it, it's basic. Uh, you, you know, if someone passes away, here's the funds to pay for your final expenses, you know, and it costs this much each month. Uh, you know, so again, simple products to learn. Uh, you know, you don't have one product that's drastically superior over another or that's drastically cheaper than another. Uh, you know, again, these are regulated products. For the most part, most carriers, the products are pretty much, uh, you know, about the same. And, uh, uh, you know, some carriers will, uh, you know, cover more medical challenges than others. And, uh, you know, again, we've identified those things. We have those carriers. We know which ones are going to cover the people in wheelchairs, which ones do not have the height and weight guidelines, which ones, you know, are going to cover COPD on an immediate death benefit, uh, you know, which ones are going to cover neuropathy on an immediate death benefit. You know, so, uh, again, we have carriers for these, for, for these clients. You know, we're not going to just stick them in a, a guaranteed issue two-year waiting period product. So again, what does final expense mean to you? Is it, a, is it important to you? Is it an important market? Uh, you know, do you relate to this market and how much? You know, put, put all three markets on a scale from one to ten, you know, how important they are to you. You know, if this is a, a level four, okay, great. You know, well, let's rate the mortgage protection market. How much does that mean to you? You know, and know the market. It's the working class. You know, we're working with uh, a market, uh, in most cases, clients' ages are from 35 to 60. 
and it's easy to learn. You know, these are simple products. There are a few more riders that can be added, disability, critical illness, money back, things to that effect. You know, again, there's a few more things to learn, but it's still simple. It's still a non-medical simplified issue product. But again, this, this market may be important to you. You yourself may have been in a situation where your, your family or loved ones have lost their home or, or uh, you know, gone through financial struggles trying to keep the home. Or, or maybe you know someone, a coworker, it's happened, you know, in your family where someone's gotten sick and due to medical bills or loss of income, they've lost the home. Uh, you know, seven out of ten households need two incomes just to maintain. You know, so again, uh, you know, this could be an important market to you. And what's great about this, some of the mortgage protection, some of my best agents were my clients. Uh, you know, some of the people that I sat across from, and we've identified their need. We've identified uh, the, the products that are going to meet their need. They asked me, wow, uh, you, that's, uh, you know, that, this seems pretty neat and rewarding what you do. You know, how, uh, what did you do to get into it? You know, well, you know, I, I got I studied, I got my license, I, uh, you know, I, I found a, uh, you know, some, some products that I really like that I was passionate about, and here I am. And, uh, um, you know, wow, can I do that? Sure. You know, so again, it's a great market, you know, and, and again, how do you relate to it? You know, is uh, again, put it on a scale from one to ten. You know, this, this could be a seven to you. You never know. Uh, the IUL market, you know, do you care about helping to educate others? Because that's really what the IUL market boils down to. When you sit down in front of someone with big circle, little circle, that's eye-opening. Uh, you know, people they don't, they don't comp, uh, you know they're they're not taught that you know you know it's kind of hard to comprehend when you when you first see it it's like wow I never really put it together like that but that's basically uh, you know some of the strongholds some of the things that are in place the the things that people are doing differently you know so uh, again we've made it an easy to learn presentation Ray has done a phenomenal job in coming up with one of the most easiest IUL presentations I've ever seen and probably the most you know most people have ever seen. And, you know, we're dealing with products that have many benefits. You know, they pro provide all-around protection. You know, when you could sit down with someone and, and put them in a situation to where it, if they pass away, their family's taken care of. If they get sick with some type of illness, their family's taken care of. And if, you know, they live a long, healthy, great life, uh, you know, they're in a situation where they're in, they always have income coming in. They're not outliving their income. Uh, you know, phenomenal products, you know, that can also be used for college funding, uh, for tax-free retirement, for wealth transfer, you know, and especially living benefits. You know, people need to know about the new kind of insurance, the living benefits that are available. You know, uh, you hear Ray say it often, you know, if you ask a room full of full of people, uh, you know, what what is life insurance? And, you know, they give you the answer. Most of them are going to say, well, life insurance is if I pass away, my beneficiary is going to get X amount of dollars. Well, you know, they don't realize that, wow, it's, it's going to cover me while I'm living too? Okay, well, you know, wh what about that? Well, it covers you cancer, heart attack, stroke. No one's exempt. It's going to also help protect your finances. It's going to help, uh, you know, allow you to grow income that you tax-free that you cannot outlive. You know, this could be a market that you're very passionate about, that you want to get out there and show people and open up their eyes to, to products that they never even knew were available. You know, the, there, there's a lot more to learn, but you have full support. You know, if, uh, if you have a situation where, you know, someone has a 401k, they have some other non-qualified funds, and they want, they're looking for something they can put that into, uh, or, you know, they have a situation, uh, you know, we can put together great, uh, you know, scenarios for you, great, uh, uh, you know, presentations, uh, you know, for you to present, you know, and, and explain to you how we came to those presentations, and you go out to the client as the professional that you are. You know, we got the training for it. We're going to help prepare you to cover your client, and, you know, we're going to work together to to meet their needs and, and make sure, uh, you, you know, that uh, they do what's best for their family. You know, this is a crusade market. It is a market, uh, you, you know, that people have to learn about. So, again, ask yourself, how important is this market to you? You know, this could be a level 9, you know, or a level 10 for you. And so, again, if that's your passion, focus on that market, run with that market, and the other markets will come because, no matter what market that you sit down in, if you're sitting down with that final expense client, more than likely they have family, they have kids, they have children that are, that are in the working class, or maybe uh, 
you know, you know they, they, they need to know about a way to uh, transfer wealth. You know, if you're sitting down with your mortgage protection client, again, I briefly went over that earlier. You know, they have the parents they're maybe taken care of. They have their children they're taken care of. And, of course, themselves they're taken care of. And if you're sitting down, you know, and someone in the IUL market, uh, you know, again, a little bit more fluent market, but people that need direction and options that they just don't know about and ways to protect their, uh, you know, their retirement tax-free and, and protect themselves through living benefits, through the new kind of life insurance. You know, again, this could be a very important market to you, and with big circle, little circle, and uh, and and you know, uh, just that information, uh, you know, could allow you to go out there and get in front of a lot of clients. Now, real quick, I want to touch base on getting started. You know, exactly. Okay, you've you've decided. Okay, uh, I, I love mortgage protection. I love the IUL market or final expense. That's me. I fit right in final expense market. You know, um, basically. To break it down, of course, we're, you got to get contracted. You know, you're going to get a welcome email directly from the carrier. Again, we contract you directly with the carrier, so you're going to get that information once you're approved with the carrier. And one of the first things you need to do is log onto the carrier websites and order material. So you get the welcome email, you log onto the website. You may need to register, but once you log on, you need to order the agent guide for the product of the market that you're focused on. You know, if it's final expense, get your final expense product guide. Uh, get the underwriting guide so you understand how to qualify your clients. And get the client brochures. You know, sometimes clients want to see the brochures. They they can often come in handy in, pre in presenting. And, uh, uh, you know, they have neat little tools that you can use from the carriers. Uh, make sure you get the state-appropriate applications and forms. Again, you want to be prepared. Um, you know, when I went out to the uh, client's house, uh, I would always have like a little accordion style file uh, that I kept with me. It had all my supplemental forms for medical conditions. It had all my applications. I had applications for each market. I had applications for each carriers that I could potentially utilize. Um, you know, for someone, if they didn't qualify for, let's say, the mortgage protection, then I had to use a final expense product. Well, I was prepared. I had all of that with me. Um, and I had my products of focus for each market. Now, Utilize specific carrier training on the products that you will use. Again, that's important. That's going to help, you know, getting paralysis or, or from getting paralysis by analysis. You know, you don't want to sit there and try to learn it all before you get started. You want to focus on the training and the products that are specific to the market. Again, that's that, that's going to be a focus for you. Uh, you know, and again, you can order the extra. Uh, is like folders, additional marketing material, or training material from the carrier. Uh, they have really nice material that they'll send out to you at no cost. So make sure and log on to the carrier websites and get your material. You know, be in a position where, you can, where you're prepared, where you can take care of your clients, where you don't have to print off your applications. Uh, you know, you can save your, your, uh, your printing, uh, you know, again, by ordering all of this directly from the carriers, and they ship it out to you at no cost. Now, once you've gotten your... Your materials, of course, use your other tools. You know, go to SummitAllianceAdvantage.com, register, make sure that uh, you have access to that. That way you can use the training and the webinars that are available. And just like it says, try not to watch something that you're not going to use right away. We have almost 40 hours of training back there. Uh, uh, you know, we have training specific to uh, in-home presenting for mortgage protection or in-home presenting for final expense or appointment setting for mortgage protection. You know, so watch the training, you know, again, for the market that you're uh, pretty much going to focus on. Uh, and, you know, again, because that's going to allow you to become that professional right away, and the other markets will come. You know, you're still going to become a well-rounded agent, but, uh, you know, you're going to do that a lot faster with the market of focus. Now, step three. Order your leads, and or take care and or take care of your loved ones. You know this is a a great way. You know we talk about ways to get in front of your clients. Uh, you know and and uh, you know the top twenty list. That's a great way to take care of your loved ones, your family, and your friends. You don't want to be the secret agent. You know, you know well. Um, you know the 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 agent that didn't tell anyone how uh, you know how they could provide protection you know, for their families and then be in a situation where something happens and you did not get that protection in place in time. So, you know, be proud of what you do. Uh, you know, it's important. And, and uh, again, these are ways that you're going to get in front of, um, you know, the people, uh, uh, you know, your loved ones. So, um, you know, again, um, 
these are the ways to get in front of your clients. This is probably one of the most important steps. You need clients to grow your book of business. You need to uh, basically ways to get in front of clients to make sales. You can do that through leads. You can do that, you know, again, through the system, you know, through qualifying your clients, through qualifying the top 20 list, through getting in front of those people and making sure they've seen Big Circle, Little Circle, making sure that they're aware of the protection uh, that's available to them. You know, again, if you're not willing to invest in yourself, who will? You know, simple. You know, so you can order your leads. That's an investment in your business. Uh, you know, that's investing in yourself, and uh, you know, you're going to get the, re the return on investment there. You know, that's that's what the whole system's set up for. Now, step four. You know, again, uh, make sure you're ready to set appointments or not doors with your leads. Now, we have the appointment setting training in the back office. We have the appointment setting scripts. We have the information and the training uh, on door knocking. You know, so again. Getting to the kitchen table starts here. It starts with setting your appointment. So you've, you've gotten contracted. You've gotten your carrier information. Uh, you know, you've, you've uh, studied the products that you're focused on, the markets that you're focused on. And so, again, now you need to get in front of your clients. You've gotten your leads. So now you're sitting there. You have your stack of leads. You need to know how to set your appointments. You need to know how to get in front of your clients, whether it be setting appointments or knocking doors. You know, again, practice appointment setting, whether that be through role playing, you know, if you want to call us and we can go back and forth, if you, uh, you know, uh, if study the training that we have, uh, you know, really, you're only going to have a few objections. Uh, once you become good at uh, overcoming those few objections, appointment setting will be a breeze. Uh, you know, door knocking is a breeze in itself because people are so friendly in person. Uh, you know, again, so take advantage of the training, take advantage of the leads, take advantage of the system, because again, you got to get to the kitchen table. That's where you're going to identify your client's needs. That's where you're going to identify the product that's best going to meet those needs and take care of them and ultimately make sure it fits in their budget. Now, step five, again, go see the clients that need your help. You've taken the time to do all this. You've taken the time to get contracted. You've taken the time to educate yourself on a product that's going to be a huge benefit to the clients. You've identified your clients. You've got your clients. You've, you've got your appointment set. You know, it's time to go uh, present. You know, you, we have the in-home presentation, again, available in the back office. We have flip charts available uh, either for download or order. Uh, you know, if you want to download them and print them off yourself, you can. If you want to order them for us, you can. Uh, you know, and if you need to field train, let us know. You know, uh, uh, you can get leads. You can get appointments and, uh, you know, split deals with your field trainer until you're ready. And, uh, you know, again, um, you can also... Uh, you know, make sure there's so many tools available in the Summit Alliance Advantage back office with the training. But the uh, presentation that we just went over, this is available in PDF format. You can print this off. You can sit down with your agent. You can kind of go over what it takes to get started, the steps to get started. You know, that way they have their roadmap of what to do next. And, uh, and again, you can utilize the, the paperwork and the PDFs that are in there and, uh, you know, kind of, uh, uh, you know, go over their goals and why. Set up their goals for the week and, uh, uh, you know, help them, again, put together their game plan. So, uh, you know, know that all this information is available on the Summit Alliance Advantage back office. Take advantage of it. Uh, you know, again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, reach out to the home office. Uh, you know, again, we've kind of laid out the roadmap for you. Uh, you know, hopefully uh, you've found the market, you've identified the market that means uh, the most to you, that is important to you, that you gravitate towards, that you have a true passion about, that when you sit down in front of the client, they know that you're there to take care of their best needs. They know that you're there to do what's best for their family. They know that you're going to do for them what you would do for your own family. Again, you have that passion about your business. It's going to take you a long way. You know, you can be in the business, and that's great. You can do well. You can make a great living in the business. But once the business gets inside of you, that's when your, your business and your agency will go to the next level. I want to thank everyone for taking the time out today to join us on our training at Summit Alliance Advantage today. Uh, again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to the office. Uh, you know, we're here to support our partnered agents, and we will see everyone at the top. My name is Jason Martinez on behalf of Summit Alliance Advantage and everyone on the team signing off.